guys, what's up? Um, bit of a uh, mixed bag video um, this time. A um, little bit of a sip it, a um, bit of some news, went to an event, um, and some cool details on some um, beers brewed by uh, some overseas VIP type sort of people, so it's pretty cool. Um, so cracking on with it, um, this here is the Rewaka Cream Ale. 19 litre batch, it was 4 kilos of pale ale malt and 500 grams of flaked maize. The mash was 65 degrees Celsius for an hour. Um, what else? Uh, 55 grams of Styrian Goldings for 60 minutes. 55 grams of Rewaka at Flame Out. So, yum. What's there? Um, California ale yeast was used. Original gravity 1048. Final gravity, 1010, so it made 5%, so nice little cream ale, this one. And um, that was brewed by, uh, that was brewed by James Spencer and Carl Summerfield. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, James Spencer, of course, from Basic Brewing. Um, and along with uh, Chris Colby, John Palmer, um, uh, who else we got? Mike McDowell, Tasty. Um, and Andy Sparks. Um, uh, during March, there was a uh, festival here in Nelson called March Fest that was on. Awesome, awesome festival that one. Um, all these new beers come out, and breweries have a good, good play around with ingredients, and everyone just has a jolly old, good old time trying all the new beers and catching up with mates and stuff. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't go to this one. Um, so I missed out on, you know, the catch-up side of things, but I did go to the Homebrew Conference, which was on the same weekend, um, so that was my event for that time. Um, so anyway, these five guys uh, each did a brew at Marchfest, and um, these were fermented and um, then presented at the first birthday of um, League of Brewers. <laughs> so... Um, cheers to to Mike there, um, who held on to them and, and had them on tap at his first birthday um, gathering or, or sort of party or do. Um, so that was yesterday. Um, tried tried all the beers. Um, number one was Andy Sparks with a Serendipity IPA. And I vaguely remember that one. It was actually quite nice. And I remember it had kind of an Englishy feel to it. So it was pretty cool. Um, number two was an IPA from Tasty or Mike McDowell. Number three uh, was Chris Colby's Copper Ale, um, so that's pretty cool. Did have a good colour to it, I must say. Uh, number four was James Spencer uh, with the Cream Ale, so this one here. And um, number five was John Palmer with the Mexican Cerveza, so pretty awesome. Um, cool to see, um, you know, some IPAs and some other uh, beers that, that, you know, you wouldn't otherwise see. Um, it's quite cool to, to kind of see... Um, what what these guys are interested in brewing, um, so that's what we that's what went down. Um, so anyway, here's this beer, the cream ale, Rewaka cream ale. Um, so we'll dive in, eh? On the aroma, I'm getting kind of this um, sort of grainy, almost biscuity type aroma, which is interesting because it's got pale ale and flaked maize. I don't have a lot of experience with flaked maize. I've never brewed it. Um, I wouldn't know how to pick it out, you know. I looked it up, and people say that it does represent kind of a corny sort of character, which I'm confused by, you know, because I, I don't know. Um, some people compare it to corn flakes, you know, the, the actual breakfast cereal. And I haven't had that for a long time, so it's hard to hard to grab that one. Um, but I don't know whether maybe the, the biscuitiness is interpreted from the corniness, I don't know. Um, what else? Kind of a um, a real light hint of floral, um, probably from Rewaka, so pretty cool. Um, cheers, guys. Oh, actually, yep, colour, look at that. Lovely, lovely, really nice light yellow. It's, it's not quite straw, but it's very light. Lovely, cheers. It's lovely. It's got that really nice light body, um, and it's fairly smooth. Um, the bitterness isn't too high, but it's definitely there. It's got an edge to it, um, and you're getting 
Well, it's kind of a mix, really. You're not sort of, it's not like a, a new old IPA where you're getting like, you know, oh, boom, you know, there's the cascade and like, oh, there's the malts, you know, it's a, everything's kind of nicely rounded, which is awesome. I like that. It uh, makes it harder to kind of pick things out, but um, it does make for a really nice sessionable drinking beer, you know. Um, but yeah, there's a hint of the Rewaka, you know, that floral sort of quality, but it sort of molds in nicely with the um, the malts and things. Yeah, I'm getting a touch of that um, that maltiness with that kind of weird cereal sort of um, biscuitiness again. So um, maybe I can attribute that to the flax maize um, because, you know, pale ale is pale ale. Um, it's a big base malt that everyone uses, so I'm, I would say I'm used to it, but um, there is just something else there, so it's interesting. It was a California ale yeast, so I'd imagine that's that should have fermented out fairly clean, and um, yeah, I feel that it has, so cheers, it's a good one. Cheers, guys. So the story behind me getting hold of this one, bit cheeky. Near the end of the event, I um, <laughs> it's only a few of us left, and I uh, went to my bag by my bike, and I pulled out a rigger, and I said, hey, can I, um, you know, can I just sneak a rigger off one of your taps, Mike? And he's sort of said, oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, the um, platform for the tastings were that there was number one, two, three, four, five, and we had to kind of try and guess who brewed what, and of course, not having gone to March Fest and not knowing what they actually brewed, I just had no idea. Oh. And tasting them, I, I was actually kind of, um, I was floored to pick up on, on what the beer styles were. I mean, I knew what it, I knew what I was drinking was nice, but I found it tricky to um, pull them apart and and figure out what they were. So it, that was hard. Uh, it's been a while since I've sort of done something like that. So yeah. Um, but since the um, names and beer numbers have been brought out on uh, Facebook, so I'll I'll put these in the video. Um, probably about now, and um, just sort of show you. Um, you know, a couple pictures of the event as well, so there you have it. Um, all in all, pretty good, pretty good evening, so I sort of did some ninjutsu uh, earlier on, and then went straight around to that, so I was pretty, pretty buggered and sort of ready for a bit of, you know, a couple beers, so it was really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, now I get to sort of get around the sampling, you know. Second pint in, um, there's only a little bit left in the bottle, so uh, it's all good. So um, yeah, anyway, bit of an update there. Um, probably won't be doing a Homebrew Wednesday this week. Um, this this will be the video, you know, this is what I've been up to. Um, not much else going on. Um, I do, I do want to do a brew soon. I haven't brewed this year yet, which sounds stupid, I know. <laughs> But um, I have been busy. I've been doing house renovations and um, just family stuff, you know. Um, the kids are still young, so they need a bit more attention. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's coming along. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to brew something. I've got a couple vials of yeast. Um, one's a vial, one's a sachet. And, yeah, I need to get something down before they sort of get a bit old. So I um, have to get some grains and hops and brew. All right, guys. Cheers. Over and out.